up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tisha the Brave hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are doing okay thank you so much for being here all right so before we get started into the video um I just want to say I have a patreon account for those people who do want to support me there patreon.com slash Tisha the Brave I also have a podcast that I do with my friend um it's called Sisterly Synergy if you guys like podcasts about spiritual experiences then you should definitely check it out out okay so let's get into the topic at hand we have an aries full moon and we're underneath the libra sun this energy is a lot of aggressive energy now we just came from mercury retrograde and there is a two week shadow grace period where we're still emptying out our thoughts some of us are still stuck in that place a little bit so i really really thought this was a very interesting time for us to have a um an aries full moon because i want to talk about how we use our aggression now aggression itself is not necessarily bad some people are aggressive towards obtaining their career or obtaining um you know their money or desires or this or that right but i'm talking about unhealthy aggression how are we using our aggression in the worst ways possible now if you guys have not watched my air sign or fire sign chakra video i really strongly advise you guys to watch it to fully understand what i'm talking about here uh, especially those who have top three of those and i've got water sign and air sign coming up next but you know for those people who have an air sign or a fire sign in their top three please watch please watch those two videos okay what i was saying in those videos generally was that they have a air signs and fire signs have no problems with their heart chakra they go for what they want but they take and they always go for their desires right so the thing about going for your desires always all the time uh is that there could be problems with that on the flip side so for example if we're talking about aggression here and desires here right if your best friend is in a fight right uh the first thing you do is uh and the first thing you do is not rationalize but go in for the protection and go for the kill uh you're not <laughs> although that seems um very heroic of you there are part there are parts where not everything needs that kind of aggressive touch right so your aggression is now leading you towards punching the other person or whatever instead of breaking up the fight potentially right not the best of examples but that's an example that i can give you right your desire is to protect your friend so now you're using your aggression to kind of like protect your friend by punching or whatever it is that you're doing uh to help stop the fight so let's think about that for a second are we using our aggression in a healthy way some of us are not using our aggression in a healthy way it's okay to be angry about a situation maybe shit is unfair and maybe you do need to speak about what you're talking about but are you using it in the right way are you using the right tone with the person that you're talking to or are you using your fist instead of your words hey guys so i just realized as i'm editing this video hence why i'm in this format um that basically i was meant to say the word anger in some points of the video instead of the word aggression now for those of you who are listening to the video and it's irking you that i'm saying the word aggression instead of anger i just want to apologize i know the difference between the two but as i was speaking in this video i did not realize that i was saying that word instead of the word anger so i apologize in advance if it's annoying you it annoys me too hence why i'm making this little short clip to just tell you that i recognize it also and i apologize so how do we help our aggression and what's the difference between healthy aggression and unhealthy aggression First of all, like I said before, aggression itself is not an unhealthy emotion. To have aggression means that you care about something or you care about someone, right? But how can we now put that energy into good use? First, we have to slow down and we have to take a breath and we have to rationalize, is this worth being angry over? Is this a me problem or is it a them problem? And once you differentiate the two, you start to realize that not everything is not everything and everyone is actually out to get you some people may be having a bad day and be taking it out on you and you have to be the bigger person and thinking okay i know this person has had a tough day today they're taking their aggression out on me but it's got nothing to do with me i'm gonna leave that person alone it takes a big person to do that because i know a lot of us automatically especially with those, those two placements air or fire you want to come back you want to come back you want to shout back right 
um but it takes a bigger person to be like you know what that is a them problem and not a me problem i am a calm spiritual human being i do not need to be surrounded by that negativity i'm gonna leave and you know what it's better for me and my sanity and my health to do that now on the flip side there are people who don't talk up enough i know because i was one of them growing up i did not say when somebody was hurting me when somebody was bullying me because i just didn't want to have arguments i didn't want to have fights but there are some of us who are not using our aggression onto the other people so not not expressing what it is that is hurting them and instead what we're doing we're taking it out on our loved ones because it's easier for us to talk about to talk to them and bash them versus bashing the people that need to be bashed or need or need to be talked to or need to be or need to be stood up against right if you are serious about making sure your aggression does not come out in your energy first then you need to seriously work on meditation every single day make it a point spiritual discipline is the way to change yourself meditation should come first for you if you have aggression issues it's very important analyze yourself when you figure out what it is that is the trigger point for you then you can start to do the shadow work and, and undo the things that have gotten to you Every time you leap up to do something aggressive, take a breath, take a step back and put your energy towards lovingness. If you guys have not watched my love languages for yourself video, I'm going to link it up here. Especially those who have physical touch, start massaging yourself, self massages, stuff like that. If, if your words of affirmations, speak some words of affirmations. It's very important that you know your love language. You can give it back to yourself. In the point of aggression, you can give that back to yourself and then you don't have to actually take those steps to do what it is that you want to do, to abuse people, to whatever it is. But mind your aggression for real. Like it's not it's not bad that you're angry, but what you do with that anger is everything. My name is Tisha the Brave. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.